my channel. My name is Gizam and I make videos about my weight loss journey. Today I've got a recipe video for you guys and I'm going to show you how to make bulgur wheat. The recipe is super easy and it's delicious so I hope you enjoy it. So these are most of my ingredients. Um, an onion, a red bell pepper, some mushrooms and I've got some frozen sweet corn, a can of chopped tomatoes and a can of chickpeas. Feel free to add whatever vegetables you have. I know peas will go quite well in this. And if you guys don't know, I don't actually cook my food with any oil, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you do is, you add enough water to cover the bottom of the pan, and you cook it with water. Most of the water will evaporate, and as it evaporates, you can add more water to cook it up. And I'm going to allow them to cook for a couple minutes before I add the red bell pepper. Once these have cooked for about five minutes, add your mushrooms and your sweet corn. your chopped tomatoes So here I've got a cup of bulgur wheat, um, <laughs> it's actually quite a large cup, but yeah I'm going to add that in now and the ratio is one cup of bulgur wheat to one and a half cups of water and you should cook that for about 20 minutes at low heat. This is my sister Sinam. Hi y'all, so talking about bulgur wheat, we have about a cup here, which is about 140 grams. In a typical 140 grams, it's about 26 uh, grams of fibre. That equates to around 20% of uh, the total cup. So a fifth of that cup is fibre, which is a huge amount. And honestly, I, c I can go on and on about the benefits of fibre, how it's so good for you. It's really good for your heart health. It's really good for um, something like diabetes because it slows the absorption of sugars and carbohydrates. See, that's the problem with eating refined foods. For example, white rice. When you remove the husk of the uh, rice, you remove the fibre, and the fibre is what slows down the absorption of carbohydrates. And when you have the fibre, you get a slow release of carbohydrates into your blood, and that is basically what prevents you from um, having high sugar spikes. So then it prevents things like stroke, it's amazing in uh, weight loss and for skin health because it removes funguses and yeast and binds to toxins. Um, it's really good for your gut health, so for things like hemorrhoids, irritable bowel syndrome, um, it's great for gallstones and uh, kidney stones. So yeah, there's so many, so many uh, benefits to fibre. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys will be motivated to start your weight loss journey or to continue in your weight loss journey or your journey to health or whatever journey it is. Thank you very much for watching. Like my video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you like me and my content. I really hope you enjoyed this video and remember that peace begins on your plate. So until next time.